Hello everyone. Do you like this cute little sketch that I did in watercolors? And are you interested in knowing how it was done? Come on then, be with me till the end and I will show you exactly how it is to be done. This is going to be more of a watercolor sketch than a painting. And so the paper that I'm using here is a standard simple cartridge paper out of a sketchbook that I had. I've laid down the basic line work of what I want to sketch and now I'm using a masking fluid to mask out certain elements. I'm masking out the framework of the fence basically because I need to leave it white. This masking fluid that I'm using is a locally made one but you are free to use any branded one of your choice. Like I always mention in all my videos, this masking fluid will need to be completely dry before we start painting over it because otherwise the paint is going to get smudged. This is the palette I am going to be using. These are Camel Artist watercolor paints. They are basically shades of lemon yellow, chrome yellow, yellow ochre, scarlet red, crimson red, burnt sienna, sap green, cobalt blue, prussian blue and a little bit of black. So now that the masking fluid has dried completely, I am starting work on the sky area and so I am making the surface of the sky wet with a wet brush. And now I am introducing the sky colors into this wet surface, blending the various shades of the sky with each other. Now I am laying down the various shades of the trees keeping in mind the light direction. All the surfaces towards the light will be in light tones and those surfaces against the light will be in dark tones as always. I am using the scumbling technique to do the trees here. If you want to know more about these kind of various techniques that can be used in watercolors, please have a look at the two videos on watercolor techniques that I have posted earlier on my channel. The links have been given in the description below. This is of course the first layer and I'll be adding more layers as I do more detailings later on. And so let's proceed to work on the trees in this fashion. As you can see I'm working over the masking that we did for the fences and that's the beauty of masking. That is we can easily work over the masking and later on once everything dries up we can simply remove the masking to reveal the basic paper white that we wanted to. For the distant trees I am using cooler shades and for the trees which are slightly in the middle ground I am using warmer shades as you can see. I am now working on the end poles and the wall, keeping in mind the direction of the light. The steps too will be done in a similar way, keeping the light direction in mind. I am laying down the colors of the first layer for the bushes now, which will be almost similar to the trees that we did earlier. Now I am working on the foreground which will have a sort of a pathway leading to the steps and a ground on both sides of the pathway. So now we are done with the first layer and so now I am starting with the second layer which will have more and more details added as we move along.
Now I'm spraying some paint over the trees and the bushes and the foreground in order to add some texture and some interest to the painting. And now is the time to remove the masking fluid. Like I mentioned in all my videos, the masking fluid needs to be removed completely because if any of it is left on the paper, then there are chances of spoiling the painting later on because it catches dust. I did some corrections on the right side tree trunks as they needed to be shown in front of the fence rather than behind. A few more details added here and there and our painting is done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, do like, subscribe and share. And don't forget to press the bell icon for future notifications. You may also leave your comments and suggest if any works you would like to see. Also click on the end screens above to watch other videos. See you next time.